Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. He's the name above all names. He's the Lord of Lords. There's no one greater than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. There's no other way to the Father. Money will not save you when judgment day comes. We will not take your money to the grave. None of that will help you. The only way to get into heaven will be through Jesus Christ. God says that Jesus Christ is the only way to him. Now, a lot of you guys are all caught up in the world nowadays, overindulging in all these things in the world. And that is only going to lead you, that is only sin, overindulging in all these things. And not fully knowing Jesus Christ is sin. It is only going to, he says the wages of sin are death. It will only lead you to the eternal lake of fire. But I have good news. I have good news. You can repent and you can turn away from all of your sinful ways. You can turn away from all of it and you will have a spot in heaven. As long as you repent from your sins and you follow the Lord and you chase the Lord with all your heart. Because all these things, all these worldly things that we do nowadays, everybody thinks that everybody thinks it's good. Everybody thinks that we can indulge in sin and still go to heaven. Right there is just a false representation of Jesus Christ. If you do not fully read the Bible, if you do not do not get into his word, you are just you just have a false representation and you have a false Christ in your mind. It is not the true Jesus Christ. The only Jesus Christ there is is the Jesus Christ of the gospel. He is the only one and he is the only way to the Father. And a lot of you Maybe thinking you're too broken. A lot of you may think that you've just gone through too much in your life that God could never use you for anything. But God can use anybody. God can use anybody in this entire world. See, God sees all of your brokenness. He sees everything that you've been through. And God says, I can work with that. I can work with all of that. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have you. You can be the worst of the worst. You can be the best of the best. God bless you, brother. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, brother. Hey, you can use. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. God says I can work with that. You see, the devil tries to get everybody. He tries to whisper in everybody's ears, saying that they're not good enough. That they'll never be good enough to be a laborer for the Lord. That they've just been through too much. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I have come here today to tell you the greatest news that you could ever possibly hear. Jesus Christ died on the cross for all of your sins, for your shame, for your guilt, for your pain. He took it upon himself as a humble servant. He left eternity to come here into this physical realm to redeem your souls. And although we live our lives and we feel as if we have all that we need, we feel as if we have the food, the restaurants, transportation, and everything else, we still are lacking something inside of us. We still are lacking His peace. We're still lacking His assurance. And Jesus Christ wants to let you know today that He loves you so very much. He desires that you repent of your sins and to turn to him with all of your heart. The world is deceitful. The world will turn you away. The world will destroy you. Living for the world, the vanities of the world. Everything that we're looking at today is eventually going to pass away. But the word of Jesus Christ will abide forever. And he has not been sent to condemn you. He does not want to hurt your feelings. 
but he wants to bring you to repentance. Because the way that some of us have been living our lives, it is a disgrace to God. And when we sin, we bring disease upon ourselves. When we sin, we destroy our family bloodline. When we sin, we separate ourselves from God. And God does not want you to be eternally separated from him. He wants you to be in his presence. He wants you to be filled with the Holy Ghost. He wants you to be full of love. He wants you to be full of peace. But our lifestyle has turned us away from him. Our sin has turned us away from the true and living God. Jesus Christ wants you to come back today and make the decision to live solely for him. And when you live for God, you will begin to see your life change. He has changed my life. I used to struggle with addiction. I used to struggle with anger. I used to struggle with so many things. And I never thought that there was hope for me until I called on the name of Jesus Christ. His name is above every other name, and there is no name under heaven in which you will be saved. It's only Jesus. Every other religion is false. Every other religion will eventually destroy you, but Jesus Christ has come to give you life more abundantly. We look at our world and we see why things are happening today. It's not because of skin color. It's not because of political party. It's simply because of sin. It's because of disobedience to God's laws and his statutes and his commandments. And if we continue to live a life that's not pleasing to God, we're going to die. And the reason that I bring up death is because the wages of sin is death. Smoking weed, the end of that is death. Fornicating, the end of that is death. You know Jesus, brother? I know Jesus, but I'm Muslim. Oh, yeah? Well, he died on the cross for your sins. He's the only way to God. Look, I know Jesus. And I believe in Jesus, but I'm Muslim. Okay. Well, there's only one way to get to heaven. It's through him. The only way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. It's not through Allah. It's not through Islam. It's not through Buddhism. It's not through New Age. It's not through Zodiac signs. It's not through a political party. It's not through social media. It's only through Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ wants to change your minds. He wants to change the way that you live. So you can reap the fruits of the Spirit. You can reap love. You can reap joy. You can reap patience. You can reap everything that you need to help you to sustain in this life, which is good. Because everything that God created, it was good in the beginning. But us human beings, we messed it up. Us human beings, we rebelled against God. Because of our pride. But God says that he resists the proud and he gives grace to those who are humble. When we pump ourselves up and we think we know everything, God is opposing us. He's resisting us. And no prideful person will inherit the kingdom of God. Because in order to accept Jesus Christ, you must forsake everything that you have and follow after him. You must humble yourselves and repent of your sins. The government has been lying to you, but Jesus Christ is offering you the truth that will set you free from your sins. It will set you free from the addictions in your life. It will set you free from generational curses. It will set you free from everything that is holding you in bondage. And no human being on planet earth can say that they are good and that they've never sinned. Because God says that we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That's why we all need to repent of our sins, meaning to turn away from everything that's displeasing to God and to turn back to Him. Change our minds about the way that we're living. Because the way that we live it, the way that we live, it can kill us. Good evening, everybody. I've come here today to tell you a very quick message. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He loves you so very much from everything that we're looking at is going to perish away. If we don't repent of our sins, we will burn in hell. Jesus Christ does not want us to burn in hell. He wants us to live a life that is holy and pleasing to him. So that when we do die on earth, we can experience paradise in heaven. We have to make the decision to turn away from our sins, turn away from everything that is displeasing to God, and turn back to his righteousness. 
because through his righteousness we will be saved. Our wealth, our riches will not profit in the day of wrath. And God is letting you know today, he is looking. He's looking for people who are righteous. If we can only be righteous through our faith in Jesus. The true living God, God, Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth. Today I just, today I wanted to offer you guys the best news that you will probably hear in your entire life. Jesus Christ, he took on the form of a man and he came from heaven into our physical realm and he died on a cross for our sins. All of the guilt, all of the shame, all of the pain, all of the agony, all of the oppression that you have gone through in your life. He has put on his body your sins and they were all nailed to the cross. But Jesus wants to let you know that today is a day of salvation. You do not have to do any good works for it. You do not have to have a good reputation for it. And you do not need to be considered someone of high authority or of a high power. God wants you to humble yourselves and to repent of your sins. Meaning to turn away from everything that is displeasing to him and to turn back to him. And seek him with all of your heart. Seek him with all that you have and you will find him because you see in this world we're lost god created the heavens he created the earth he created everything that we're looking at right now and we have turned our backs on him and because we've turned our backs on god we have reaped generational curses we have reaped murder sin in our lives sin is everything that separates us from god